So what is the difference between an agent that writes $100,000 and an agent that writes $1 million? Let me tell you, the guy who writes $1 million just does a little bit more than everybody else. But there's also another key thing that you need to know. They have structure. Have you ever felt like, you know, your health, like you put on weight, you lose weight, you put on weight, you lose weight. Maybe have you felt like your finances, I've got money this month, I've got no money this month, I've got money this month, I've got no money this month. Or perhaps your relationships, like, you know, Claudia, I'm, I'm about to get a divorce. When was the last time you had a date night and your relationships are like this? It's really simple, you need to have structure. And the thing I talk about structure between an agent that writes $100,000 a year to an agent that writes 1 million, the guy that writes 1 million, I can tell you right now, has structure. And what I mean by that is, think about like, you know, how many calls would he make per day? Maybe it's 30 connections. He has structure around the calls that he would make. He would have structure around categories. Would it be past clients, old OFI books? Would it be past clients? Will it be calling his fears of influence, etc.? So he exactly knows there's a structure around the call sessions that he's going to make. Now, think about the structure around, you know, perhaps the three types of sales platforms that you can have in your business. And you know, I've spoken about these before. So the three sales platforms that you need to have structure around is one is circle sales. Circle sales is like I call the eight week touch point plan. Each week around that listing or sale that you have, what we call hot spotting, you send a message out to them. So week one could be a friendly door knock, you know, 10 by 10 by 20, 10 houses to the right, 10 houses to your left, and 20 houses in front. And you might just door knock them and say, hey Tom, my name is Claudia. Look, just reaching out to some of the neighbors today. We just listed a beautiful home, number 23 Smith Street, just 10 doors down from you. It's open this Saturday between 10 and 10.45. You might see some extra traffic coming into the area. And if you'd like to come down, please do so. Or if you'd like for me to keep in touch with you with the result of that sale, please reach out to me. So really simple door knock. Week two, you could do your just listed DL card, be it a postcard or a DL with the property. Week three, you would probably do a progress report to the neighbors. So letting them know how the sale's going at the moment. You might've said, hey, we had 45 groups through last weekend. We've given five contracts out. And you think as a owner how they feel, they might think, wow, that house seems like there's a lot of interest. Maybe I should go down there and have a look at it and see what all the, you know, the hoo-hahs are happening down there. And then finally, you might do the auction invitation. A great client of mine does a great thing with the circle sale. He takes like a little box of three ferro rochets, has the company color bow on the ferro rocher, knocks on the door and just says, look, my name is Claudio from ABC Real Estate. Um, just look for a little bit of the inconvenience over the last three weeks while we've been selling. I just want to give you a box of chocolates as a token of our appreciation for putting up with us. Something along those lines. Make it funny, make it quirky, however you want to do it, but it's an auction invitation. Then you do the just sold, of course, the door knock around that on week five. Week six, you could do a just sold DL card to the area. Week seven, you do a just sold flyer with a bit of a story, like how many people came through, how many registered bidders, the days on market, etc. So you do your circle sales, okay? But here's the thing, there's structure, all right? And then you think about inside sales. Inside sales in your business is really that everyone that's on your database, all your past clients, like anniversaries, your networks, your community, etc. That's like your inside sales. Do you have structure? The guy that's writing 100 grand doesn't. The guy that's writing a million bucks, guess what? He's got structure around his inside sales. And then of course, you've got outside sales. The guys who are writing over a million dollars today, I can pretty much tell you they have a focus area or a business development area, a farm or a patch. And they have structure around a prospecting plan delivering in those areas. They may have a call to action letter. They may also have a deal card that goes out once a month or they have a social media strategy to bring leads in or have people's eyeballs watch their new listing on Facebook through a Facebook ad or anything like that. So the question to you is, if you really are thinking about being a million dollar agent, and there are some people, or even half a million dollar agent, you need structure. Just like when you wanna lose weight, they go, here's the plan, Tom. Eat that meal at nine o'clock, eat that one at 12, do that one at, at, at seven o'clock tonight for dinner. That's how many calories you'll have. And you need to do a walking in the evening and go to the gym in the morning at structure. So here's the thing, if you're serious about it and you wanna get off this roller coaster in your business and in your life, it's really, really simple. Start developing structures in all areas of your life and you will feel like you have daily rhythm.